Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have uh, started with the lighting part for this kitchen over here. So now what we'll be doing over here is like we have taken a source light from here. That's from the window over here. So as you can see, I have placed few lights. One light over here that would be a kind of a fill light over here and also we'll be taking one more light for a supporting light that will be from here now I'll go into this and I'll just slightly reduce its intensity over here if you require now let's go into the camera view and if we see if we try to render it you will see that it will just give you a basic render over here will be doing some kind of V-Ray settings over here how if you require to work on the reflections we can do that let's go into rendering let's go into render setup so very first of all let's go into V-Ray over here into this we can go into this into the advanced settings over here let's go down go into this and let's give it as adaptive subdivision into the environment if you want to give a GI environment you can go with the GI environment we can activate it reflection and refractions let's go down and let's set it uh, you can set up a filter over here you can set it up a Linsos filter also a Catmull 25 pixel filter if you go with this pronouns enhance edge effects without edge enhancement so we can go lensos also let's go into color mapping and let's set it to exponential so we can just increase this minimum we can keep it as minus 1 minus 3 over here sub pixel mapping will activate this go into GI let's activate this GI irredence map light cache over here let's go down keep it as medium and subdivisions will keep it as 160 by 60 over here your interpret samples for now light cache will keep it to 600 not increasing that much detail enhancement and let's see how it looks like after a rendering over here so uh, I'll go into this uh, V-Ray and I'll off this and let's just slightly and let's render it and see how it looks like so definitely we need to work on the lights we'll be working on the intensity of the lights so we can also render a part of it so uh, let's go into this press P over here if you want you can reduce its intensity over here and you can increase its intensity to 0.2 and if you want I can slightly increase the intensity multiplier for this rendering again you can go into the render setup over here you can go into this if you want I can increase the samples but right now I'm not increasing the samples because it will take a 
longer duration noise threshold you can keep it to 0 1 0 0.01 or 0 0.001 and let's render it again let's see how it looks like if you want to go with a catmull room also you can go with that also going to take time so if you want you can render a smaller quality over here so we can slightly adjust it to a lower quality so what I can do over here is for now is I'll just take it to 640 by 480 for now and let's render and see how it looks like We can reduce the lights if it is required. So let it render Alright So we can keep it to Catmull room also. If you you can also generate the passes for some depth. I think it's going to take more time. Alright, so definitely uh, 
uh, it's going to take time. Now, what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll again switch back. If you want, you can switch it back afterwards. Let's go into the perspective view over here. We can reduce more of its lights. to rendering let's go into render setup and what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go down I'm not activating the V-Ray environment over here if you want to activate the GI that will be done I'm uh, sorry uh, your HDRI if you want to activate that will be definitely doing it let's go into this GI over here let's go down this V-Ray and let's just set it to a catmull room over here we'll be selecting this and let's see 966 by 644 so first again 544 let's go back to the camera view and let's just slightly render it now looks much better you can also use V-Ray environment for that will be definitely will be coming up with that also. If you feel that uh, we need to reduce the light which is uh, coming out, coming from a window, we can go with that. We can, if we try to reduce it and let's see how it looks now, if we reduce it. Okay. It's very less, so I think we can increase it. Still, very less. Much better. So if you somewhere have too much of reflections, we'll be definitely reducing those reflections over here. So definitely uh, this is not a final output, we'll be working on it. So I'll be just attaching the output of this and we'll be working accordingly with it. So guys, if you have any doubts and if, if uh, any other lights are required, we'll be definitely putting up over here on the ceiling lights also if it is required. So guys, if you are in doubts, please write it in the comment section over here. So I will be just attaching this output, render output with the file over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.